It's been a massively challenging period for businesses, but many have adapted and survived thanks to their ingenuity and inventiveness. We are so pleased to be part of their journey over the course of the last 18 months, which has been unprecedented in their challenges. Many, many businesses have adapted to their processes, activities, products and services to endure through this most difficult of periods. And tonight we salute their achievements. The pandemic has really pushed us to innovate. It's enabled us to accelerate things that we thought were going to be coming down the line three or four years time. We've been able to bring in now and we've had the momentum to do that because everybody's had to cope with change anyway. So it's enabled us to push through more change as people have learnt to adapt. It made us look at staff, well-being, what our customers were and we took a decision. We got rid of 18 of our clients to really put a focus into being a software development consultancy. And what we also did is with the focus of our staff is we introduced a four day working week which allowed everybody flexibility and freedom to enjoy their lives. The pandemic has pushed PINs to innovate in lots of different ways. With the various restrictions, we had to change our, our offering multiple times. Not only this, with staff, we had to implement a lot of staff training. The positives to take from this are that it's advanced our business by about 10 years in the use of, uh, the use of technology. The, the products we offer haven't changed greatly, but the way we work has changed quite considerably. Obviously, we've adopted hybrid working. It's absolutely vital that businesses now continue to innovate, continue to think outside the box, continue to think differently because we're in a situation now that none of us plan to be. So it was never part of any of our plans. So we were forced to think differently. Supply Well was built to create innovations and efficiencies for the education sector. The pandemic allowed us to stop and pause and really take stock of our progress and really look at our next stage of growth. The positive takeaway from it is, is like, Everybody should be open-minded to change, like challenge yourself, change it, don't, don't stay in the status quo. I'm incredibly optimistic of the city region at the moment. We've got incredible organisations who are, who are constantly making new things, breaking all barriers and trying to, to do things differently. We're a really supportive city region as well. I'm incredibly optimistic about the future of the city region. I think that we have the people and the technologies here to really grow something in the future. We need more businesses, but we've got the ability to support them. And with our world-class universities and the technology we've got on our doorstep, I think the future can be very bright for us. There are many challenges facing our city region, but there's also a huge number of opportunities and the Chamber is determined to support all of our businesses in their attempts to sustain themselves and grow as we attempt to rebuild the economy of Liverpool city region. There's a lot of things to be excited about and we'll be very much part of our collective journey to ensure that Liverpool city region is a successful region in the future.